Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Dollywood's Dream More Resort and Spa, our own little slice of Smoky Mountain Paradise for the next three nights, four days. This is the adjacent resort to the Dollywood theme park property designed by Dolly Parton herself, and it is butterflies and country loving from top to bottom. Katie and I usually stick together when we do these resort tours, but so beautiful and so expansive is this property that today we're actually gonna be dividing and conquering. So I'm gonna start you off with a room tour here at Dollywood's Dream More, and then we're gonna go down to Katie at the pool area Area, one of the most beautiful pool areas I think we've ever laid eyes on at any resort across the board. So without any further ado, I'm Tim. We'll catch up with Katie and Kaylee a little bit later and we do things like this. So what we're looking at here today is a standardized double queen pool view room. And although it does look pretty clean in this one shot, bear in mind that we have been here for a night already and we're staying for a couple more with three people in our party. So as Dolly herself might say, bless this mess. Safety first. First thing we noticed as we walked into the room were these four hooks right next to the door, and they're actually double hooks. They have a lower hook and an upper hook. So that's nice, and very similar to the Disney resorts in that you have a space to put umbrellas, bags, and in some cases, towels. As you can see, we've been making really good use of these, so we definitely appreciate them being here. You do have a full-length mirror here just inside the door, just outside the bathroom as well, so if someone is occupying the bathroom, someone else can be out here doing their makeup or getting dressed. Talking of the bathroom, we have tried to restore it to some of its original glory as it was when we first walked in. Very nice sink. Only one, but it's a very nice one. We got our standard hotel bar of soap. The mirror has a little Dollywood butterfly on it. I don't know if I can get it to focus. There we go. You have a little hand towel rack here on the right hand side with a little shelf on top for small accessories. Dropping below the sink, we do have a complimentary hair dryer in this cubby. This panel does not open, so it's probably for maintenance. And then over here is an empty cubby where we have shoved some hair products. A little further below is where all of our towels came from. We're using three of them. These are hand towels right next to them. And then you do have some additional space over here which we've yet to utilize. The toilet area is siloed out with this secondary door. And you can see one cool thing about Dollywood, toilet paper's got a little Dream War stamp on it. There is a wee shelf above the toilet where you can rack extra towels or store accessories or toiletries as I have. And then the toilet itself, It's not the best water pressure, it's not the worst. Could probably do with an update, but it served us well enough. Dolly did give us a little shower mat here, which we've yet to use, but I like the option of having it. We've got shampoo, conditioner, and body wash from the Dream More Resort Spa. And although we don't have a waterfall shower head in this one, we do have a full-size tub and a standard operating shower, which is all we really need. We may be on vacation, but we're out of the room most of the time. Two hooks for towels right behind the door, Two hooks for towels on the door. Entering the larger space here, you can begin to see where we've stored some of our larger items. We do have plenty of space up on that top shelf. Then some hanging space here. We've got Kaylee's big monstrous bag here. But it fit pretty nicely. And then we've got our, what we call the shoe bag there. Small carry-on bag. Now these drawers underneath, there is plenty of space in them. However, they are packed to the brim of dirty clothes right now. So I'm not going to open them for you. They are here and there is nothing in them, leaving you plenty of space for your own dirty clothes. Back behind all of this madness, there is an iron and an ironing board as well. Now, due to the fact that we are traveling throughout this entire week and resort hopping a couple of times as well, we do have larger suitcases and we couldn't find a great spot for them aside from that one little cubby where we put Kaylee's bag. So we've just lined them up here. They're not an obstacle. We have plenty of walking space between the beds and where the suitcases are, but if you've got a larger family, you probably want a larger room than the one we have. This room is designed for a smaller travel party that is packing a little bit lighter. But getting into the room itself, oh my gosh, is it not beautiful? And these beds are in a disheveled state because we already slept in them. It was even more beautiful the first night we walked in. Both beds have this little accent here, butterflies, and then the quote, put wings on your dreams, followed by a little signature from Dolly. Each bed comes with four pillows and an accent pillow. We usually sleep with one each. Mattresses are also quite firm for those to whom it matters. 
On the left hand side as you're entering the room, this alarm clock actually has two USB ports and two AC outlets. So if you've got devices like we do, this is a handy little tool in the center aisle. This little drawer in the aisle in between the two beds has plenty of space for your nighttime accoutrements. We've got our iPad in here, Katie's eye mask and iPhone charger, and of course, the Gideon Bible did come with the room. Below the island nightstand, you have just enough space for some smaller bags in this undercarriage area. Which is good, because under the beds themselves, not a lot of room. Directly across from the beds, you do have a pretty nice TV and two channels featuring Dollywood Resort TV, one which tells you all about the park hours and everything, like what you would expect at Disney, and then the other, which is basically a walkthrough of all the resort activities happening that day. Below the TV, we have a couple more shelves and storage spaces here. We fill the top one with snacks. The next one has an ice bucket on it, and the bottom one is a little bit cramped, so we've just kind of stuffed our to-go bags down there. On the right-hand side, we do have a safe and then a couple more drawers. Now, this has to be all the way open for these drawers to open properly. But you can see there is tons of space in there. So there are two of these stacked on top of each other. If you need the extra space, or if you're just one of those people that feels more at home in a hotel, if you can put your clothes away in a drawer, this space is for you. You do have a pretty nice mini fridge here as well on the left hand side, which we have filled to the brim with water in Coke Zero. Near the desk, you do have this kind of hidden port where you can plug HDMIs directly into the TV. You also have two more USB charge ports down there. And then as part of this desk area itself, you have a Keurig, you have some complimentary in-room coffee. We brought this plug strip but there are outlets down below the desk where you can plug such things in. And then you have this order form where you can actually get in-room cinnamon bread from Dolly to start your day. They also gave us an in-room phone with speed dials already set to guest services, valet, Dollywood park tickets, the Dream More pantry, and the spa. And Miss Dolly gave us this beautiful postcard which we can send directly downstairs. We also have one more tall lamp behind the second bed and a very comfy one-person chair, which has become known within our group as the editing chair. And no room tour will ever be complete without mentioning that view. As we mentioned, we have a pool view room, so we get to stare at this beautiful, gorgeous pool and hot tub layout all day long. We also get advance notice when the pool is empty and it's a good time to go. And it's looking pretty empty right now, I would say. Which makes this an ideal time to switch over to Katie and Kaylee's vantage point because they are actually at the resort pool complex right now. They're gonna do a little bit of a walkabout with you to show you everything around those areas and how cool this complex actually is. Hey guys, it's Katie and... Kaylee, we're at the pool. It's a really hot day. I think a lot of people might be at the park, so the pool's pretty empty right now. So let's go in and check it out. Dream More Swimming Hole is an area exclusive to resort guests, which features a sizable outdoor pool with a zero depth entry gradient, a splash pad for kids and kids at heart, and an adults only hot tub that can comfortably accommodate as many as 25. There's also a smaller indoor pool at the garden house so that you can still have a nice swim on a cold or a rainy day. During our stay, we spent some time enjoying each one of these aquatic offerings, but by far the grandest perk for us was that amazing hot tub. Here's the jacuzzi in full power mode with the bubbles and waterfalls. Oh no, it might be too powerful. <laughs> Kaylee's feeling the power of the jacuzzi. Like when it came on, yeah. I was sitting here and it pushed me out of my seat. And this that? one right here is like plus ultra. Sometimes, uh, you find yourselves alone in the jacuzzi in the middle of the day. So just leaving the pool, you have this adorably themed playground. Slides, climbing, super duper cute. Uh, it is noted that it's really designed for kids who are like ages two to five, so more like toddler ages, but super cute. Even a little suspension bridge, just really adorable right by the pool and there is this super cute themed park bench with their little engine that could 
shaped like a book. And we all know Dolly loves her books. You can see this really cool old Chevrolet truck with some flowers in the bed. And this is known as the barn. So just for reference, we are just to the back of the pool here. This is the barn where they do the bedtime stories at 8 p.m. each night. A little look in here. Beautiful fire pit in the center with some chairs. Sponsored by Coca-Cola. And I believe this is where they would do the movie nights as well, because that looks like a projector screen that's gonna come down. Cute little mason jar lights. And here we have where our some moors will be tonight. This is, I think, the main fire pit with a lot of seating, so plenty of room for everyone to come around and have some more. And I love this little fence here with the campfire, and then look at these little marshmallows, all in their various stages of toastiness. Here is the next fire pit with some Adirondack chairs around it. Again, just making our way around the pool. Other various benches placed. Come in around this corner here. We have butterfly garden. Butterfly benches flanking either side of this entranceway. And if it wasn't obvious from walking in, I'll just give it a little lift and hopefully you can tell that that is a butterfly. Oh my goodness, there's a bunny. There's a bunny walking through the butterfly garden. Oh, I just scared him. I'm gonna walk away so I don't scare him too much, but anyway, taste of the wildlife here at Dream More Resort. It's just so expansive back here. It just keeps going. And now we have the meadow. Right here on the lawn is where you and your beloved could say, I do. Give you a little taste of what that looks like, what the back of the resort looks like there. And this looks absolutely beautiful. And it's off to the side, so definitely can be private. And then of course here on the lawn, there is another cornhole game set up. Welcome back, folks. We're out right now in front of Dollywood's Dream More Resort and Spa. That's where you can find that iconic Dream More fountain. And it's also where the Dollywood trolley actually picks you up. A complimentary form of transportation for anyone who has booked their Dollywood and or Splash Country Park tickets through Dream More. You can hop right on the trolley and it takes you straight to your end destination. And you typically get time saver passes as part of your stay. Whenever you bundle those packages together, they will give you what is equivalent to quick queue or fast pass at Dollywood and or Splash Country. So it's a good deal. This front lobby area is also where you're gonna drive up if you want a valet park. It is $25 a day for regular valet parking. It is $40 a day for premium valet parking. I honestly don't know what the difference is because we self park for free. The concierge desk is located directly to the left as soon as you walk into Dollywood. So in addition to checking in, they are kind, wonderful people who will help you with any questions you might have during your stay. In addition to any face-to-face -face assistance you may receive at the concierge desk, you also have a virtual concierge that you can text anytime throughout your stay. So keep an eye on your phone once you've checked in. That's going to be an invaluable resource to you. As Katie already mentioned, this is a sprawling property that offers all the comforts of home in addition to the luxuries of a vacation resort. But it's also a bustling business center that often serves as a base of operations for summits and conventions in the area. These types of events are typically held at the conference center in the southwestern wing of the resort. Between event attendees and resort guests, there are bound to be a lot of hungry stomachs come lunch or dinner. So Dreammore also offers two dining options just off the main lobby. The Dreammore Pantry, which is a quick service restaurant with grab and go, frozen treats, and custom made pizzas, and Song and Hearth, which is a buffet style sit down restaurant that accepts both walk-ups and advanced reservations. Just outside the event space, you have the living room, which is a bunch of loungers where you sit down and take a load off. Outside DM Pantry over here, you do have a family room where there are gaming tables set up. It's a little bit more engaging. So everything from the top to the bottom is very on theme and very young party. Just past the family room, you'll find the boutique known as Pokeberry Lane, which sells all kinds of trinkets and wearables. Like everything else at the resort, this little shop was designed and optimized by Dolly herself. So expect to see a lot of Dolly's Southern style represented here. There's also balconies and rocking chairs all across this property, which is perfect for a rainy day, which we get a lot of in the Smoky Mountains. Just sit, chill, 
watch the rain come through, and then get back up and have more fun. Guest laundry you will find at the end of the hallway on floor two. With an unimaginably sticky door. Two washers, two dryers, $3 per load, quarters only. Change machine in here as well. Go ahead and pick floor one. This is your private hotel entrance to the Dream More Spa. Although we didn't have the time to make any formal appointments at the Dream More Spa during our stay, the wonderful staff was kind enough to let us take a peek inside the salon and therapy rooms so that we could share these clips with you. If you're interested in any spa services available at the resort, make sure to call ahead and book your treatment at least a couple days in advance to solidify your spa day. Going down the left walkway leads you to Song and Hearth, and on the way you can check out this gorgeous wall of Dolly Parton album covers. We're now going to head down the opposite hallway, which will ultimately lead us to the fitness center and to the game room, but first, Black magic. It's a locomotive. No, wait. Wait a minute, wait. Wait. Oh my god, it's the Dollywood logo. Witchcraft! Now there are some rooms down here on the first floor, which is why I'm making a concentrated effort to keep my volume level a little bit lower, just out of respect for everyone who might be napping through the rain. However, you don't have the best view from the ground level. If you get a ground level room, what you get instead is a patio which is nice in its own right. Here we go. And into the game room, 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Oh, well, this is pretty dope. They do not have stackers, but it looks like they have just about everything. Well, we got a little bit of racing, we got a little bit of basketball, but most importantly, we got air hockey. Yeah! Last but not least, we do have a fitness center sponsored by Humana. Maybe Humana. 24 hours a day, which is really, really nice. I can barely get the door open. I'm not built for this place. It's not the biggest gym, but it'll get the job done. If you're just trying to get a light workout in before you head over to Song and Hearth and pig out on the buffet, this'll do you nicely. Looks like we got a lot of options for cardio, a couple options for free weights. But with the bench, you can really get free weights working for you, so. <sighs> that might be all you need. Always remember. If you use it, wipe it. Lastly, across the hall from the gym and right outside the indoor pool is Camp Dollywood. Now this is the home base and it appears to be closed to the public right now. However, the camp activities go on. So it looks like 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. this morning they did craft kits. 4 to 6 p.m. they do complimentary pink lemonade in the lobby. 7 to 8 p.m. We got s'mores. Now it's about 4.35 right now, so if I know Katie and Kaylee, and I like to think that I do know Katie and Kaylee, I'm betting I'm gonna find them in the lobby grabbing a pink lemonade. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Funny seeing you here. The summer celebration drink of the day. It is pink lemonade. So that'll just about do it for us here at Dollywood's Dream War Resort and Spa. Again, expansive property, beautiful from top to bottom. Couldn't be happier with everything we've experienced. And we still have a couple more nights here as well. So we're gonna really soak it up. Now that we've done the room tour, we can finally unpack. Hopefully this tour has been helpful to those of you who might be considering booking at Dream War. We highly, highly recommend it. If you like this content, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you wanna really, really help the channel out, go ahead and click that little subscribe button down below. Make sure to subscribe to Kaylee at Fantasmic Phantoms as well. She's gonna have her own variation of this tour, and I think hers is gonna be a little bit more whimsical. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Tim. I'm Katie. I'm Kaylee with Fantasmic Phantoms. And we will see you next time. Every day is a new adventure. And this one's rustic.